Welcome back. In the previous part, we ran into our old friend Sampo. And he's going to take us on a little tour and show us the adult side of things. I'm worried what that means, though. Where are we going, Sampo? What a he says it's nothing illegal, but... Yeah. We shall see. We shall see. Get this chest, though. Alright, so into one of these, I assume. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Oh, is that what that's for? Okay. Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. I will do when I've picked up this. Thank you. Um, right, let's uh, show them what we're made of. Okay. Bubble pinball. Wouldn't this be quicker walking? Press to select the plate, expend energy to activate the plate, and close the plate to regain energy. Why? When the plate is activated, you can set its rotational direction. Cannot activate any more plates when you do not have enough energy left. Press reset to reset all plates. Create a trajectory that connects the pinball launchers on both sides by activating, closing, or rotating plates. When the trajectory is completed, you can launch the pinball to reach the destination. When you exit the machine, the current plate setup will be saved. No, oh, so we don't have to keep doing it. That would make sense in terms of transporting to the other side. Alright, so... Uh, rotate. That's good. Alright, so go with you now. And neither of those feels correct. Yeah, it's like, okay. Oh, I see how you're bouncing that off there. Right, okay, okay. Ba -bum. Lovely. We got a cross. Alright, where are we going, Sampa? Is this... Uh, the lower level of the commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right! This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again... Nothing is too difficult for Sempo. I don't trust you, Sempo. I don't. Don't hit me, Chap. Yank. <laughs> chap, what are you doing? Took me so long to find a way to fly without flapping my wings, Chap. This chubby is amazing. He won't come down after flying into the sky. I don't have to use up so much energy. Feels super comfy, chap. Get it. It's not too bad to rely on my own wings sometimes. <coughs> chap, chap. Oh, oh pop. All right. Gotta keep an eye out for all them. I still need to see about this thing here. Still can't. Okay. All right. What we got here, then? Here we are again, pal! Huh? Oh... It's you. You here to relax? Right! I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well... How can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. You really didn't think this through, did you, Sampo? Well, 
seems like we can't go in. <laughs> what should we do? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Oh, no. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What, what, what are you talking about, mate? Clearly code words, but... Just a few intense emotions. As far as how we'll use them, you just wait and see. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Uh huh. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Yes, yeah, quite the coincidence. All right, then. Is that a TV? Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road. Ha <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Be careful. Silver Wolf is around. She might not like hearing that. Hey! How about you try touching it and see what happens? Couldn't hurt, I guess. Could. Well, I might be totally off base here, but I think there's something fishy with this TV. But it's fine if you want to give it a shot. I trust your judgment. All right, the two almost synchronously turn their gaze towards you. Or perhaps more precisely, it was the three of them, including the guy with a trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. You now it's time to make a choice, so do you want to take a chance and touch the television? To see what intriguing events might unfold? Touch it. Touch it. Touch it! Seems like I'm left with no other options. You reach out to the suspicious screen in front of you. Yeah, but I wanted to check this out. Like, what's going on here? It's the entrance to Hanu's adventure, a game in the dreamscape. You must transform yourself into a miniature Hanu first to proceed. So I'm assuming that's what this is going to do. <laughs> oh my! What? Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? I have no idea what happened. I don't know what's happening. You desperately want to say these, but uh, somehow you've transformed into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a candid and taciturn figure. Calm, reliable, cool leader of the werewolves from Benaconi's famous long form cartoon, Clocky. You suddenly project the beasts of Dreamville. According to your character traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. Gosh, you guys at all. Good as me, you guys at all. You desperately want to say this, but somehow you've been transformed into a cartoon character. Yeah, we, we, we know that. We know this. All right, let out a grunt that sounds cool. You make an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was cool. You look so... cool. Thank you. You got swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, 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 you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! 
The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. All right, let's give it a go. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. Well, at least we have a way back. Hmm. Let out a grunt that sounds cool. Have you thought about why you'd ever change back if you can keep being this cool? Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. Let's go. We'll cheer you on. Thank you. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. Damn it, Sampo. Hanu's Adventure. Clock Studios has designed an arcade game in Penacone's dreamscape, able to let the guests play the cartoon character Hanu through a transform device and experience a miraculous adventure in a corner of the dreamscape. In the story of Hanu's Adventure, he was made smaller by Boss Stone's strange device. He then had to experience a grand adventure with his small body and take back the treasure Boss Stone took from the town. A pair of wolf-like sharp eyes are hidden under Hanu's sunglasses. Use the button to activate his Hanu vision to observe the tools that could be utilized and try to find the hidden treasure. All right then. <laughs> Sorry, I got a grunt. Mm, 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 mm. You look utterly clueless. They're so tall, they're like giants. Well, let's head on in then. Maybe I can actually speak to these guys or grunt at them. Release a series of cool grunts, but they failed to draw the attention of the twosome from the television to you. Looks like you have to turn back into who you are. No, not yet. Here we go. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape this time. Oh my. There's a chest there. How do I get up there? Can, can I jump or anything? Hanu vision? Oh, I could just go through. Can I not? Balloons placed by boss stones have hindered Hanu's way. Those who are not shrunken can probably destroy the balloons. Oh. Hmm. How do I get unshrunk then in this bit? <laughs> Your way is blocked. How pitiful. There's a huge secret that I would never tell you. If you swap bodies again through the TV, you'll be able to destroy the obstacle and... No, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. Okay, so we need to go around to that then. Oh, we need to re -hanu. Morphin time. Off we pop. Oh, hello. It's so stuffy in here, Chip. Are you here to save me? Let out a grunt that sounds cool. You let out a cool hmm. So cool that the birdie tilts its head at you. Chirp? Hmm. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp. Hmm. You can't talk at all. Forget it. Thank you, Chip. I'm leaving now. Alright, what we got around here? Ooh. A rocket device. Using the fantastic rockets built by the origami bird, Hanu can quickly shift between the ends of the different rockets to reach places otherwise inaccessible. Oh my. Lovely. So where does this one take us back over there? Yeah, from the looks of it, it goes up there. Need to get up to that chest, though. Yeah, we need to transform so we can get that chest. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. 
Let's try this rocket now. Maybe that'll take me up. Uh -huh. Big chest. Yo, oh, rap! You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back. After going all around, you find yourself at the entrance of Boss Stone's maze. That was a maze? All right. Ooh. I'm back, guys. Hmm. That's a cool grunt. That's a cool grunt. All right. You're back. <sighs> Are you all right? Ah, I felt better. Do you have anything to say, Sampo? Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. That wasn't fun, according to you. We need to go up. Oh yeah, the bubbles here. Yeah. Look at him dancing. He's, had quite a bit to drink. He's dancing. Looking for some chip chips while I'm here. Chip chip. Chip chip. I don't see Once no again, chip chips. That's the news done. Da, 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 da. I expected to see a rainbow coming out of your mouth, but no. Because the chip chips could be anywhere now. Watch it. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> Quite several here, isn't there? All right then. I, I didn't want to change up. No, just the one. Chap, didn't think of that, did ya? That's not three birdies, but and I'm the only bird here, chap. Saw that coming a mile away. Ready, chap? Don't lie to birdie old me. No. Oh. Never thought anyone would be able to answer my three riddles. Guess I'll have to up the difficulty next time, chap. I'll definitely be back, chap. Alright, chap, chap. Just want to wander around and just have a look, see if we can just find a few more chap, chaps. Easily by just quickly running around here. Because, oh, how did I miss that? And no idea how I missed that. Good job I came back here and I look. Hmm. Well, I expected a chip chip to be around here somewhere. It's a big area. Could easily have missed one though. Could easily have missed one. I'm all right. Okay. There's just a little bear there. And um, where are we going? Not 100% on where we're going. Up here somewhere. Oh no, with the advertisements that chase me. Oh no. Leave me alone. Floaty ice creams. Oh, I There's a chip chip. You don't like that be one or ah? There we go. Chap, looks like even filling the dream with ice cream won't change my feather colors, chap. I love pink. I want to turn into the prettiest pink, chap. All right. If I had cosmetics, I might be able to turn into pretty pink, chap. Time to head back to ask young Master Gold. Chap, chap. All right, we'll chap you later. Keeping an eye out, like just just for those little head plumages anywhere. Whoa, nice! An 
gigantic sports car. Mm, how is it any different from a? We'll investigate that at a later date. We're only looking for the um, chip chips at the moment. Not like a chip chip hidden in here, no. Let's check up here. I mean, there's a sticker. So we'll grab that while we're here. Oh god, leave me alone! Go away, advert, go away! Watch your step now. I will, I will. Dream about eons. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store! Dr. M at your service. Hello. <gasps> Trailblazer of the Astral Express! Here we are again. <laughs> I see you've got two friends with you. Well, they seem like fun people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. <laughs> Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? Best not to ask with Sampo. This is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Hmm... Any dreams we want? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. So what's going on there with Firefly? Just getting bits and pieces of their story. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Alright. <laughs> Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. <laughs> it's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. What are we going to see? I'm familiar with this location. Is this... the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Indeed. Where is everyone? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream... Anything is possible, possible. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Okay. Dream within a dream. How many layers can we go down? How many? Is this... Another note? Sampo's advice? Become the garbage king. Uh-oh. Though the trash bags have long been broken. This feels so familiar. Oh, that's the thing about dreams. Anything can feel familiar. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but... Don't get frightened by what you see. What's outside? What's outside?
Oh god. <laughs> what? The? What? What is happening? Did you? Why are there trash cans everywhere? <laughs> You'll find it here. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dream Diver. My name is Shatana, and I have a deal to offer you. A deal? What deal? Have you heard of Tatalov, the Garbage King? I'll, I'll just carry on. Oh my. Uh, you're speaking in riddles. I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these, um, trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king. Or something like that. Alright then, uh, just... But I haven't agreed to anything. Dr. Edward said he didn't have time to make any alternative storylines. Just accept it. I like how the music is slightly off as well. Abadu? I'm confused. Yeah, I think you should be. I think you should be. Courageous can. Trash can prince. This is a normal looking trash can. How magical. A kingdom of trash cans actually hasn't ordered any trash can. This is a rare opportunity. Do you wish to do something with it? Remove some trash. Of course, that's the value of a trash can. When you used your finger to touch its sides, a burst of loud sounds followed. When you open your eyes again, the trash can is no longer just a trash can. It is now a trash can with arms and legs. Well, I'm glad I could help me. Even your trash bags? Hmm. And stand with me against Tatalov. Well, that's one then, yeah. Alright, so two to go. Can we just do different things? Or is there just three different things we have to do? Strange trash bag sits at the bottomless trash can. You notice the seal on the bag. A few fish bones have clipped the mouth of the bag shut. Remove the seal. Bam! Green smoke wafts up from within the bag together with a loud noise. It twists and congeals in the air, slowly becoming a giant trash can. I don't know what I expected. Oh, 
誇るべき筆頭目撃だどこか行けこもかこどうもこかもなかおそもこかきおもこのまどこまかかのうこかのうかこもこか But I saved you. Monota Okobi Kakash Homoko Koki Kaka. Hmm. I wish to die as a warrior. Ah, Moko Pokokiano Doro Pokono Matuka. Why not stand with me against Tatalov? Moikara Boraka no Tum. Well, very well. I speak with the audience. Oh, there's our proof of trust. Very well. I want to go with like the the more obvious ones where it's like you or you. It's like, is there any other like sneaky hidden one or something? What about you? Like, no, you're just down on your luck. All right, we'll go with these three. Particular trash can stands quietly. Its lid has chipped and faded paint. It is meticulously counting the roadside trash, occasionally sighing or scratching its head, as if struggling to memorize an astronomical number. Hmm. Why are you counting trash? Give us a chance to read it, you know. I need proof of trust. Newly arrived guns, okay. Okay, obtain... No, no, investigate the first trash can. What sort of trash would Trash Can Kingdom hold? Curiosity pinked, you open the lid of the first trash can. Unfortunately, there isn't any difference. Maybe Dr. Edward did not have time to attend to the details. There's a comic book inside the trash can. The pages are torn and damaged. It tells of an adventure. Tatalov was once a brave Trashkin. With valiance and willpower, he defeated a colossal junk monster and saved a human from its monstrous maw. In order to repay Tatalov, that human turned himself into a Trashkin. This is actually a horror story. Oh. You see something unexpected. A true sting lying inside the Trashkin looking back at you. Die, remnants of propagation! It is time to rid the people of this menace. Use your bat to tell it that this is the kingdom of preservation. Let the battle begin. Don't mess with me. This this is most strange. <laughs> most, most strange, I would say. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions, Illusions of the, of the past. past. Yes. Need a doctor? Um, no. Let's bring Sina back here. I'll end your misery. What a headache. Indeed. Who's next? Let me tend your wounds. 
You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Get you going now. Get you ready. To guard and defend. Crush them. I'll free you from your chest. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions, Illusions of, of the, the past. past. Oh, that was a nice big hit there. Hope you're prepared. I was hoping to freeze it, but no. It'll heal. No. Oh, Pass the trial. After a loud boom, propagation's crisis has ended. The world is once again peaceful. And that trash can who has endured undeserved ordeals has returned to its slumber. Thank you, Nameless. Was, was that good enough? What? Thank you. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. Indeed. This is strange, but I love it in some weird way. Okay. Oh. Haven't been here in a while, have we? Oh no. His head fell off. Oh no, another one. Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Oh god. Such a tragic scene. So many dead trash cans. Didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Have I been set up? Oh, here he is. <laughs> Damn it, Sampo. Ooh. We must save the trash. Oh my god. Hey, wait! What kind of nonsense is this? No, wait, no! No more! What? What the? <laughs> Freaking trash can kaiju. What a bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. <laughs> the Garbage King? You're the real Garbage King! What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. The truth? Truth? What truth? Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you'll lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Wh Sampo, just what exactly are you up to? Same as always, pal. If you still don't get it, just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? No, I do, but I find you suspicious as well. 
You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> mm-hmm. See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? Wait, you didn't notice that? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Well, after that lovely adventure in the trash world, whatever you want to call it, I feel like what we'll do is end this part here and in the next part we'll see about finding Firefly and see if there's any answers we can get. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.